Welcome, friends, to Crazy Women Country, where women's voices matter. We bring you the greatest female voices in the music industry, from the artists, songwriters, and producers, to managers and executives, and all the women who make the music industry what it is today. Thank you for joining us. Welcome, friends, to another episode of Crazy Women Country. I'm Donna. I'm Paula, and today we have Shaylin with us. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you both? Doing good. Awesome, doing thank good. you. <laughs> good. Even better now, the storms have stopped, so I have internet, which is always nice. That is, that is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't realise how difficult life is without the internet. It's like, <gasps> so yeah. So no, it's so true. Like we take it for granted and we use it every single day with everything we do. And the second it doesn't work, we're like, what are we going to do? <laughs> I was missing Dora on my phone. <gasps> I've got no internet. I'm even out. <laughs> so yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. Oh. A bit of a nightmare. So, it's all good. There's a uh, meme out there somewhere that says about, you know, uh, something wasn't working. So I had to go meet my family. They seem like nice people. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen that, but I've heard, like, a friend of mine told me about it. I haven't seen it yet, but that is so true. It's like, family, who's that? <laughs> um, so, tell, sorry, you're going to say something there? No, I'm not. I'm good. <laughs> okay, let's go. Um, so, tell all our Crazy Women Country fans, who is Shailene? So I am from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, and I am 22 years old. Um, I'm often called an old soul. I feel like I am 40 years old, but in a 22 year old body, um, which is why I absolutely love classic country music and uh, all the, the legends in country like Johnny Cash, Patsy Cline. And I, my goal is to keep their legends alive and to keep their music going um, in today's society. Perfect. I love that. That's wonderful. And I, I, I have relatives in Hamilton. There you uh, go. I probably know them. <laughs> <laughs> you probably do. I love it. Hamilton's nice. I was there a few years ago. So, yeah, it's really, really nice. So, that's so cool. Perfect. I can't wait till next year so I can go to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. bring your. Uh, make sure you come in the summer, or else you'll be bringing a parka and you'll be riding polar bears and playing hockey twenty four seven. You know. <laughs> riding polar bears. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's a whole new sport. That is. Um, but, I'm in for yeah. hockey. I just need to learn to ice skate. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm not good at ice skating, and I'm not impressed with the Toronto Maple Leafs loss last night. So uh, I'm a bit sad with that one. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. How dare they lose? No. <laughs> so tell us, as you said, you like the classics and stuff like that. So tell us, who are some of the Shiro's that have inspired you to music? Yes. Um, so definitely Johnny Cash. Um, he was my absolute favorite artist out there. And I think it's because he's a storyteller. So what I love about country music, it's, it's all about stories. And most of them are true. And Johnny Cash was not the best singer, but he was a, a damn good storyteller. And he just told things like from his heart, things that have happened and they weren't always good. And I mean, that's life. Life is not always going to be good. It's going to knock you down. There's going to be hard times, but um, John just told the stories and he's helped a lot of people get through other things in their life. So Johnny Cash is definitely number one. I love Loretta Lynn. And I love Patsy Cline. I mean, those are two women with strong personalities, um, crazy, so they would have done great on this show. And um, <laughs> they're, they're themselves. And, um, you know, they, they brought up such a big name for female country artists, and I'm honored to follow in their footsteps. Yeah. And Patsy Cline left us way, way too early. She had so much more to give. And then, you know... But, um, I know. I mean, I would have done anything. Um, I love Dolly Parton as well. And it would have been so cool if Dolly Parton, Loretta Lynn, and Patsy Cline were all still living at the same time. Um, but unfortunately, like you said, she left us way too soon. Could you imagine that as a show? That would be amazing. Them three ladies on the stage. What is it? Like, well, hmm. That would be amazing. <laughs> that would be like the coolest show ever, yeah. would have been. would have been. They'd still be touring. They'd never stop touring because everybody would want to see it over and over and over again. Absolutely. 
I'd be on setup or driving or something. I'd be like, yep, I'm just whatever you need. I'm there. Just pay me enough to, you know, live and I'm good. <laughs> Seriously, no. And I mean, um, like they're just, they're all so incredible. And I think they could really make magic on stage. So I wish that could have happened, but at least Dolly Parton and uh, Loretta Lynn are still, still living and still singing and yeah. still mm -hmm. kicking. So that's great. It's amazing. Seriously, I wish I had, had that much energy now, let alone, <laughs> you know, <laughs> at their age, seriously, they are phenomenal. So, yeah. And those three ladies in general have done so much for, like you said, for, for country music in general. I mean, they just, you know, I can't, I can't even count between even just Dolly and Loretta, the amount of songs that were like banned from radio at one point in time, you know, just. No, for sure. And um, I mean, they were storytellers, too. They didn't have a lot of money. They didn't grow up with lots. They had lots of siblings, you know, so everything was different back then. And, you know, I watched the movie Cool Miner's Daughter of, of Loretta, and she just like, she did not take no for an answer. She said, this is my song. You need to play it. And um, I admire that about her. And actually, I'm very much like her. I'm very stubborn. I'm a Scorpio. So I'm very like, <laughs> hey, like, this is the deal. Um, <laughs> So, you know, it, it's really cool because I can see some of my characteristics in her when she was younger. And, uh, I mean, heck, I don't think I'll make it to my 80s. But if I do, I hope I'm just like Loretta Lynn. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Um, I mean, talking about radio airplay, you had the song uh, The Drink that you released in 2018 that yeah. was played across numerous countries, which is very, very cool. Um, what was it? Canada, USA, Australia, random, and the Netherlands. Yes, um, I was very shocked and excited to see uh, it played all over the world. And you know, I'm I'm getting fans messaging me from Australia. Just heard your song on our station, and I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> you know, because I don't expect that. But it's really cool. Um, the drink has been like like you said, all over. And I actually did a radio interview last week um, in Italy. So my song's playing playing there as well. So it's it's pretty successful and uh, everyone's loving the drink. So I'm okay with that. <laughs> that was very, very cool. That's very cool. And it was written by yourself as well, wasn't it? So it's even better. It was. So I actually wrote the drink in 2017, um, which is really funny because I wasn't even old enough to drink. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how convenient. But um People ask me, like, they, they hear the drink and they just think it's a typical country song. Like, you know, beers and trucks and dogs and all that stuff. But it's actually a love song. And mm -hmm. I made it to where drinks are kind of like partners in life. So you'll have many different drinks. You'll have some wine, some whiskey, some rum. Um, and then, you know, many different relationships, whether they're good or bad. And then when you find your soulmate, like your partner, that usually becomes your husband or wife. Um, that's your drink and that's the drink you'll choose every time. So it's actually not just alcohol. There is meaning behind it. Um, I just use alcohol to explain it. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Yeah. Alcohol explains a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> that's very cool. <laughs> uh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, and you released your first album in 2017. Tell us about that. Yes, yeah, so that album was very special to me, um, and it was all by accident. My Nana uh, ended up passing away in 2015, and she was my biggest inspiration, and she was my biggest fan. And I used to sleep at my Nana's every single weekend, and I would put on concerts for her and shows. And so it started when I was four years old, I would sing like Twinkle Twinkle and Wheels on the Bus, and then when I went into school, I would sing songs that I learned at school. And then when I got to be like 12, 13 years old, she introduced me to some of the classic country artists like Patsy Cline, um, Lori Morgan, Johnny Cash. And I really was digging the music. Like I really loved it. So um, I learned all of these old classic country songs and then I would, would sing those. So um, unfortunately, my Nana passed away with cancer and um, she was my legend, so I wanted to honor her and our relationship. So I wrote a song called Nana's Little Girl. And it wasn't meant for radio. It wasn't meant to go anywhere just for me. And it's the story of our relationship and how time changed and how, you know, she introduced me to music and started my musical career. So after I wrote that song, I decided I would put it on a Shailen Love and the Legends album. 
and I would choose some of my favorite legends and some of my favorite songs that they do and put them all together. Perfect. That's very sweet. That's very yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's very cool. I love that. I love that. So, yeah. That's amazing. Absolutely perfect. Thank so, you. Let's move on to slightly happier things because obviously it's really sad losing family members. Um, let's have a look at our quick fire questions. Yay! I love this one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this real I feel like if we only start saying yay when you say that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people are like, oh my God, what are they going to ask? And we're like, they're fun. That's easy. Yeah. Easy. Some are, are very quick fire, others are a bit more in depth, but they're very cool. Some of the answers we get are amazing. So, okay, are you an early bird or a night owl? Oh gosh, definitely a night owl. I do not function well in the morning. I am up till two a.m. at least every night. Mornings are a no go. <laughs> <laughs> at all. <laughs> Remember that. Do not talk to Shane when it's morning. Oh, <laughs> so 10 11 a.m is probably a good time to, to yeah. <laughs> yeah if you guys want to do another interview uh call me two in the morning you'll get perfect perfect answer <laughs> that'd be great i wish you surprised at that that'd be very funny actually <laughs> see what answers we get then yeah um what sitcom family would you be a member of what sorry what sitcom family would you be a member of Oh my gosh, sitcom family? Or any TV family. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, that's a hard one. Oh, these are hard questions. Okay. Um, <laughs> family. Would I be a... I, I can't even think of one. Oh, okay. Yes, I can. Reba. I would be in Reba because I love... Well, I love Reba to begin with. I mean, who doesn't love Reba? Um, yeah. You know, I, I don't know... They're just, they're, they're crazy. Like, yeah. they're crazy. Their family is crazy. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what to expect. And I'm, um, I'm a very adventurous person. And I'm, you know, always looking for adventure and things to pop up, like questions. So <laughs> I definitely would, would love to be part of Reba. And then, I mean, you work with Reba every day. So win-win. She's a comedic <laughs> genius, that woman. I swear. And that family is extremely dysfunctional. It's very cool. Exactly. And I would fit in just fine. <laughs> <laughs> so we need, we need to put in a request. If there's a reboot, you need to be in it. <laughs> but, uh, we have to air the show and, and, and do the show like after midnight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Um, okay, so if we had a look on your iPod or your phone or whatever holds your music, what would be your guilty pleasure music? What would be hidden in there that you wouldn't want everybody to see? Oh my gosh, I'm, I was hoping you weren't going to ask this question. <laughs> um, I don't have music on my phone or my okay. iPad, um, which is crazy. And I actually just had this conversation with someone the other day. They're like, Shay, what do you listen to other than country music? And I was like, well, I listen to a bunch of stuff on the radio. Like I like Pink Floyd and, and Queen and whatever. But they're like, okay, but what music do you have on your phone? I'm like, I don't. And they're like, what? You're a musician. I mean, you need you. And I'm like, no, I actually don't. And I, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I do music all the time that I enjoy just peace and quiet. And, you know, I don't need to listen to music 24-7. So... Uh, like honestly I have no music on my phone if I did put something on it would probably be like rock and roll the Eagles or Pink Floyd or Metallica I really like Metallica so it'd be something that's totally opposite to what I am um mm. but I don't have any <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, yeah that's very cool actually that's a very different answer that's, no one's yeah. ever said that. <laughs> that's really cool that is, that is. so what's the weirdest cutest funniest thing a fan has ever done for you oh weirdest cutest or funniest um oh gosh okay um there was something that was really sweet um i was just never asked to do this before so i played hagersville rocks uh, back in 2018 and I opened the show and um, I always loved being a young girl going to see like Shania Twain and Carrie Underwood in concert and looking at them from the front row and saying oh my gosh I want to be just like them 
And I played Hager's Go Rocks, and I did my meet and greet after the show. And this young girl came up to me, Harley, and uh, she asked me to sign her phone case. And I thought it was so sweet. I mean, you know, you sign posters and CDs and, you know, sometimes body parts and whatever. But it was, she was just so sweet and innocent. And she came up and she said, would you sign my phone case? And I'll never forget it. Like, it just melted my heart. And um, I'm actually still friends with Harley today. And it was just her birthday uh, about a month ago. And I personally delivered uh, one of my Shailene Kicking It Country toques to her and surprised her for her birthday. And it's all because I was touched. Um, that she asked me to sign her phone case. <laughs> so oh, I would say that would be the, the cutest story. Definitely. That is, cool. that is, that is so cool. sweet. Yeah. Um, boots or heels? Oh, boots. Um, wearing them right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did notice in all your photos is cowboy boots. There's nothing more yes. than cowboy boots. So that's cool. That's I great. have a collection of cowboy boots and Bass Pro Shop hats. So one day when I die, I will have like a whole museum of just cowboy boots and basketball shop hats. Um, me and heels, we just don't mix. I mean, <laughs> I'm not a girly girl, so walking in heels would be very questionable. I have done it. I have a couple pairs, but I, I really don't like to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cool. I, I, I can definitely relate to that. Definitely relate to that. Um, what's your favorite drink? Tequila. Oh, I said that way too quick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was very good. I'm straight into that one. <laughs> I love, I mean, that is, okay, well, my favorite drink is by Shaylin. But no, I love tequila. <laughs> um, it's funny because I had tequila on my 19th birthday. And um, I was with my band and they're like, okay, Shay, we're going to have a shot of tequila. And they brought out this salt and these this lime, right? <laughs> and they're like, Shay, you're this and I was like training wheels nah I don't need that <laughs> anyways um we all took the shot of tequila and I took it like a champ if I do say so myself and they're all doing the salt and lime thingy and uh ever since my 19th birthday tequila has become my favorite drink so <laughs> what yeah, about who, who does that, that training wheel thing I'm like that's just telling you that's not a good tequila right or that they're just <laughs> wimpy i don't know yeah i it was funny because i was all men so i was like guys take it like a woman <laughs> yes <laughs> and they all, like, hey, we need salt i'm like take it like a woman i got this i don't need that <laughs> there's a country song in there there's definitely a country song in there That's for yes sure. take it like a woman let's <laughs> <Yeah>. do it <laughs> so what would you drink Normally, on a daily basis, apart from the tequila, of course. <laughs> right. I, uh, <laughs> gosh. Um, no, I do love water. Um, I drink lots of water. I'm very go, go, go person. So I try to drink as much water as I can. Um, and I like ginger ale. Ginger ale is like my, uh, my go-to. It's not too sweet. Um, it has ginger, so it's healthy. And uh, I, <laughs> I would say those two are my, my go-tos mostly every day. That's very, very cool. Okay. Um, what's your favorite holiday? Uh, honestly, it used to be Christmas time. And then I feel like Christmas got too intense with just like gifts. You know, people, it was all about gifts for people. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think my, my favorite holiday is definitely Thanksgiving. And I mean, I'm a person who never tries to take things for granted and to always be thankful for opportunities and because you never know when it's going to be your last day yeah. but at thanksgiving i really turn my brain off i turn everything off and i really appreciate um what i have in my my personal life you know with friends and family with my musical career um the people i work with and and the, the opportunities i've been given um and then just every day like shape things that i get to do whether it's um rollerblading or canoeing or fishing um just for all the opportunities i have that's cool, that's yeah. cool. That's good. Like that. um what's your favorite animal oh my gosh gorillas <laughs> I, I love they are so like they look so scary and intimidating and, and big and like they're going to beat you up and then I feel like they are so gentle and calm and um, actually 
my nana and I had a really cool experience. She took me when I was 13 to the Columbus, Ohio zoo. And uh, so my brother and I went and my nana and papa, and we went to the gorilla section and the gorilla was like laying on the ground facing the glass. So I laid on the ground on the other side and put my hand up and my nana has a picture of it um, with the gorilla putting its hand up. So we both had our hands up and I just fell in love with gorillas ever since that day. That's perfect. That is That's really, so sweet. That is, that is. Okay. I don't have a Canadian version of this, so we're going to have to stick with the American <laughs> version. Okay. Um, <laughs> but if you could add somebody to Mount Rushmore, who would it be and why? I would probably honestly add um, Johnny Cash. And like he is, he is just such a huge inspiration in my life. I mean, he is my go-to. And um, I just feel like, I mean, come on, he's the man in black. Like everyone knows Johnny Cash. And I just feel like he should be like right there about Rushmore. And they're like, whoa, you know, whoa, it's John. <laughs> and I think that would, would just be so cool. So definitely Johnny Cash. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that. Um, what was the first concert you ever went to? First concert? Oh. I'm, oh, gosh. <laughs> trying to think <laughs> i've been to so many um i think the very first concert i went to was carrie underwood um i was young i don't know maybe <laughs> nine or ten or something i remember being carrie underwood because i remember her her wild hair and her sparkly outfit um and my my mom got me seats like i think four rows from the stage and uh, I remember just seeing her and, and, you know, watching, knowing her story from American Idol and, and how, how far she came. And it was one of those little girl moments where I looked up and was like, oh, my gosh, I want to be just like her. And uh, I definitely remember that. And, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was it was a really it was a sweet moment for me. Um, and it's something that now I get to experience with other little girls coming to see me sing. So it's really it's really heartfelt. That's fantastic. I love that. That's cool. This year was your first concert. Yeah, so, what's your favorite color? Oh, okay. I love yellow because it's so bright and, and fun and sunshine, but I love maroon too. And I feel like it's not a popular color. Um, so I, I can't even choose. Oh, okay. Maroon. <laughs> <laughs> we can just go with both. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are no correct answers to any of these, just so you know. I just have to start getting unique. You have unique cups, I don't. This <laughs> <laughs> was my other one got broken and then I had to get another one. So they just appear, these random ones. So they're very cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's the best thing since sliced bread? The best thing since sliced bread? Yes. Yeah. Um, probably a grilled cheese. Nice. No, I, we'll just, we're all hungry now apparently <laughs> we're all want grilled cheese sandwiches now <laughs> yeah i mean i actually just had a grilled cheese yesterday with soup and um i put two pieces of cheese so it like really melted in mm. and it was it was the bomb.com so it was really good <laughs> <laughs> the bomb.com that is very cool if you're canadian it's bomb.ca but it doesn't rhyme so bomb.com <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you could talk to anyone alive or dead who would it be and what would you want to talk about oh okay um again i would love to talk to johnny cash um just to just to talk to him i mean you know i i i wish i could have met him when he was still alive and um i would just love to hear like the things he's been through um you know this how he how music impacted him so much um how he wrote his stories um how he felt about being the man in black um mm -hmm. what it was like to be a dad to all of his children um yeah i would like i want to know a few musical things but i want to know about his personal life mm -hmm. you know the times with him and his first wife vivian and you know i've seen pictures of them cooking in the kitchen like what was his favorite meal um and I, and then I would want to know what it was like to be on the road and, and to meet people like Elvis Presley and, and to do all those things too. So just about him and not just music, but his personal life as well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's absolutely cool. 
Because, yeah, you see the persona of the star and you just want to know what's behind there. Yeah. Yeah. He's dad first. And um, mm -hmm. I just would want to see that side of him. Yeah. Mm. So if you weren't doing music, what would you be doing? So I actually, um, I cut lawns. I have my own lawn cutting business. And um, I only did it for like a few seniors just to help them out. And uh, now with the, the pandemic and COVID, I've actually been cutting lawns. Like before this interview, I was cutting lawns. Um, so yeah, I love being outside. I love the outdoors. It's funny because I'm allergic to freshly cut grass. So <laughs> crazy. But um, I just, I find it very therapeutic. And, um, you know, the sound of the lawnmower, the smells, um, how nice the grass looks after and, and, and just being in the sunshine. Mm. I love the smell of fresh cut grass. It's just amazing. But, it's good. Uh, it's fresh. And then yeah. I get high and I realize, like, why am I doing this? Yeah, that's a downside, the hives, you know. <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah, that, that, I, I had them today. I'm like, Kate, these better go away before I do my interview. I'm like creaming them and <laughs> hide your arms or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're just <laughs> yeah. oh, emergency uh, Benadryl here, people. <laughs> yeah. So, if you could be a Disney character, what character would you be? Ooh, this is such a fun question. Snow White is my favorite. Um, Disney princess, just because she's so, which is funny, because she's so like, la da and like, sing, 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 which is me. But I think I would like to be like, um, Meredith from Brave. Like, she is just like a redhead. Um, I don't know if I can say this, but like a badass. And she just like, you know, she pulls out her air and she's like, bam. And um, I always wanted, I have a bit of red in my hair, but not enough, obviously, to make me a redhead. And I always wanted to be a redhead. I find them just like so feisty. And um, I definitely would love to be like, because she's like the newer version of princesses today, right? Like all Cinderella, yeah. Sleeping Beauty, we're all elegant and sweet um, and, and high heels where I feel like she's like in like hunting boots and she's like, Whoosh. and I think that's like, more my personality. <laughs> yeah, she, she's the tomboy. She's the, the yeah. princess that we all want to be, you know what I mean? She's running around with bows and arrows, shooting people and yeah, like exactly. Great. So I would definitely be uh, the blonde version of her. <laughs> <laughs> so I love that. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, so what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Oh, um, I love cookies and cream. I love vanilla ice cream, but I'm like, Shay, that's so boring. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so there's a little bit of cookie in it. Like it's a little bit of crunch. And I'm a texture person. So there's certain foods like I can't have because the texture is like applesauce. It's all like fuzzy. <laughs> um, but I feel like um, cookies and cream ice cream is like a, a mixture of a bit of a crunch, but also smooth vanilla ice cream. See, that's the best of both worlds, you see? Sorry. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that, that's definitely in my top three. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I totally get it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's one of your favorite snacks? Pickles. Oh, my gosh. I eat a jar of pickles a week. Um, which is a lot. And I actually drink the pickle juice. Yes. Uh, I don't know if anyone else does that, but um, I actually had some this morning and it's good for cramping. I learned there are some health benefits to it. So like athletes will drink some before they play a hockey game because it helps with cramping and electrolytes. But I just drink it because I love it. <laughs> That's a new one. I don't eat many pickles, but drinking the pickle, I'm not anything vinegary. I'm just a bit, uh, but uh, yeah, why not? Hey, why yeah, not? I, yeah. I, so, I, so does it have to be dill or like the, do you like the bread and butter or there's specific ones that you. Oh, I love like a sour dill pickle. Like you bite into it and it's just like sour and juicy and garlicky. Um, that's my favorite, but it's funny because like I forget how salty it is so I'll drink it and then I'm like oh my god I'm so thirsty why am I so thirsty because I told her I'm just drinking salt <laughs> oh, vinegar and salt good good way to uh, what, what did I use that for like um in dehydration and things like that for uh you know beef jerky so I guess we can uh solidify our, our bodies for the rest of our lives you know it's preserving I'm telling you yeah <laughs> You're no. preserving before you're dead. That's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so hypothetically, if I came to you and said, <laughs> "I need to hide a body," do you know a good place? Oh, 
hundred percent. Awesome. <laughs> I love that. That was like, yep, I know we're doing this. <laughs> well, you know, I, I do I, I do a lot of hiking. And, um, you know, you have to, I feel like sometimes, this is going to sound like I'm a serial killer. This is going to be bad. <laughs> but you know how, like, people want to hide things and they want it to, like, be really hidden? Where I'm like, people are going to look for hidden. So you have to be more obvious, you know? Like, just you know, lay a body there and put a few leaves. Someone's just going to walk by. They're going to be looking behind trees and underneath things. And, you know, meanwhile, it's just right there. And I mean, I do a lot of hiking and there's always cliffs and little caves and stuff. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. <laughs> this, is not- <laughs> this is like crazy. I, I, okay. But yes. um, yeah, we can find lots of places probably. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> this is the headline news. Shailene's been yeah, arrested. <laughs> Great. <laughs> we'll, we'll come try to bail you out. They'll be like, who are you? Why are you bailing her out? <laughs> That's very cool. Oh. So tell us, what would be a good theme song for your life? Oh, that's interesting. Um, a good theme song. Ooh. Um, oh my gosh, this is a hard one. Okay, I'm trying to think of something. Oh my god, why can't I think of something? <laughs> because you don't have it on your phone, that's why. No. <laughs> exactly. If I have songs on my phone, I'll play a theme song. Like, I'm like kind of crazy. Um, there we go. I crazy, think- maybe? <laughs> yes. Probably crazy. No, I think like um, probably um, like life is a highway, and it's just like. I'm going to ride it all night long. I think so. Cause it's very fun. You never know which direction you're going in. Uh, I'm just going to ride until my car runs out of gas, I guess. <laughs> that is the best. That's a fun yeah. song. Yeah. As so, soon as you said it, I was like, it's playing in my head. I'm like, no, don't sing. Yeah. Don't sing. <laughs> no, no, we're not allowed to sing. It's illegal <laughs> for us to sing. I think we can get arrested or something. <laughs> yeah, we would. We would. <laughs> Ears will start the thing. Like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> So, so tell our audience or and everyone listening what um song they should listen to or album or artist before they die i can um <laughs> garth brooks i am a huge garth brooks fan um my nan and i we share the song the dance so it's a very special song and i just i mean garth brooks is an entertainer he's so much fun you can get in a great mood or a, a bad mood. Like he's just, he's so, he's, he just lays his heart out there. So Garth Brooks, a new upcoming artist, uh, Luke Combs. I absolutely love Luke Combs. I feel like he has a bit of the old kind of classic vibe. Um, and you know, he doesn't try to be someone he's not, and he's like, this is me. And, and here's my stories. Um, so I would say, yeah, definitely Johnny Cash, Luke Combs. Um, who, what's the other one I said? Oh yeah. Garth Brooks. <laughs> um and Shaylin, come on, the drink. Let's go. <laughs> so if you haven't checked it out, go check that out after this video. Yeah. So your final question. Who okay. is your favorite CWC host? My favorite what, sorry? Who is your favorite Crazy Women Country host? Oh that is not a good question. That is not what. <laughs> well, obviously, both of you. How do I choose a favorite in like an hour? I mean, I need more time, and I'm trying to go off of the questions. I mean, I love your accent. Um, sometimes it's hard for me to, to understand, so I have to really focus. Um, and then you know, you asked me to like, where would you hide a dead body? Like, did you know? <laughs> I'm like, whoa! Like this girl is totally on my. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> No, um, I thought it was there's... the cookies and cream, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But you had you had the yellow teacup, so I'm like, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. No, totally not going to choose. Um, <laughs> I, will, I will say it's fun because you both have different personalities, um, and it's really cool. Like the questions, I'm assuming you came up with um, your questions, and you came up with yours. So it's really cool to see. Like I relate to both of you. Um, in different ways, obviously. One's all sweet, what's your favorite animal? And one's like, where do you want to, how to dead body? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but it's about trust for me. It's all about trust. 
<laughs> but honestly, you're so, um, you both are amazing. And this was like so much fun. You guys are fun. Like you said, this is like so laid back. Although your, some of your questions got me really thinking, um, which I was not prepared for. But you both are awesome. And I want to thank you for having me on Crazy Women. No worries, no worries. It's been so, our pleasure. Different. And that's probably one of the most in-depth answers to that question ever. Yeah. That is, I love that. <laughs> so tell all our Crazy Women fans, what have you uh, in store for the rest of the year? Yes. So um, with the pandemic and lots of time on my hands with no touring, I've had the opportunity to write a whole bunch of music. So I am going to be recording. I was supposed to be in the studio back in April and then May and then June because of the lockdowns, um, my next album. And uh, I'm so excited to release that. I have some pretty fun songs on there. Um, some summer songs that I want to get out really soon before summer's over. Um, and then some true stories that have happened, which are pretty embarrassing, but pretty fun. So definitely looking forward to getting into the studio at the end of this month and hopefully releasing songs in uh, July or August. And uh, yeah, just playing guitar, writing more music. And uh, I'm, I actually just booked my very first show for 2022 as of yesterday. Um, so we have this big theater. Um, your family members will probably know. And you'll have to tell them to come to the show. Mm -hmm. But it's um, Hamilton Place. And I mean, all the big stars play there. And uh, I just booked my show there March 26th. Um, so I'm excited for that. Cool. That yeah. Beautiful. That's amazing. So, yeah, so make looking... sure... Go on, sorry. I was just saying we're definitely looking forward to the new music coming out this year. Oh, thank you. Yes, I can't wait to share it. Excited about that. Excited. So, yeah, make sure you all follow Shay's... Um, social media accounts find out new dates new music and everything coming out because it's going to be amazing yeah. thank you thank you all for joining us for another episode have a great day see you later guys <laughs>